coach DJ took over, well, he did some big scoring in that fourth quarter, much like he did against the Lakers on Tuesday. Just how reassuring is it for you guys to know that you've got two point guards who can take over at any point? Yeah, you know, I think he, he didn't have a good shooting night, and he had a great game. You know, and, and I think that's that's worth noting. He's been shooting the ball so well. Um, but when I say from three, you know, um, but his ability, as you said, you know, to, to get to the rim, um, to get his mid range, and then you know, on the other end, he had a pretty tough assignment there on, on Booker. So to be able to have that, you know, that burst offensively, you know, at such a crucial time, and then you know, do it on the other end too is you know, obviously crucial. And I want to ask about your bench. Forty-six points from your bench, but especially from Yeta and from Bowley, just how instrumental they were in this one. You know, you can. Sometimes you take it for granted the, the shots that Bogey hits. Um, you know, he's always ready to shoot, and uh, he's able to shoot contested shots. But Onyeka was terrific. You know, he did so many good things on both ends of the floor. And we were switching and pick and roll, and he was matched up on a lot of different people because of that. You know, he's matched up on Durant. Um, you know, he, even um, you know Booker at times. So. I thought the job that he did defensively out on the perimeter, that, that's hard. And he was very good. And then he came up with some big rebounds, you know, a couple offensive rebounds that were, you know, really impacted the course of the game. Coach, um, 17 turnovers for Phoenix, 21 points off of those turnovers for you guys. Just how important was it that you guys were able to convert off of those turnovers? Yeah, you know, I think sometimes you know, there's matchup situations that are tough. I mean, really anybody on Durant is hard. And, uh, and Booker is such an elite player, and he's playing, he's been playing at an unbelievably high level. So um, even if sometimes they're going to make some shots, um, and you've got to tip your hat, but to the extent we can impact the game, you know, even when they feel like they've got a mismatch situation by being aggressive and helping and making plays on the ball is big. And obviously, as you said, sometimes you know, that's your best offense if you can convert those, those defensive plays. And also, did you have an update on Sadiq? No, our health performance. I'll have that soon, for sure. Coach, uh, before the game, <clears throat> we talked about Trey not making the all-star game. And then he comes out and has a big game, uh, sees Duran on the other team. It's like, how much can inspiration and motivation play a role at this level? Well, I, you know, obviously Trey wants to be in the All Star game. You know, he's um, he, he, anybody that, that plays in this league wants that. So, but I, I, I think play Trey. One of the things that's been great about what he's doing is he's he's not playing for accolades. You know, I mean, he's playing to win. And um, you know, you saw that tonight. He was one of the guys. DJ was doing such a great job on Booker, and a lot of times they'll try to put Trey in pick and roll situations. And you know, he switched onto the ball a number of times, and you know, was able to get in and, and uh, get up into his man and, and use his quickness. Um, so you know, as you said, we we talked about that before. Um, you know, you guys know how I feel about him, and uh, as I said, it was, it was it was good to see. You know. Both he and DJ have the games they did, and you know Trey did some special things tonight. Um, and I, I don't, I don't know that he did that because he had any extra motivation. You have to ask him that. I just felt like he was playing the win. Okay. So uh, Georgia is once again considering uh, legalizing sports betting, and I was wondering if you were at all in favor of it, or uh, you think it could be beneficial for the state to invest in something like that. You know, that's outside the scope of my job and responsibilities. I thought you guys would ask me more personnel questions. Now it's gone to gambling. Um, so I, I'm wise to stay out of, you know, political issues. You know, I, I have my views on things, but I, I think they need to stay with me. I'll take you back to personnel. You talked the last couple of days getting Hunter back about getting size and you didn't have Hunter and you lost Bay in the game. How did you manage that situation in the game or having size against Kevin Bray is obviously a very useful thing. Yeah, you know, it's tough to have size on him when he's his size. Um, you know, Wes gave us some really good minutes. Um, and 
that that was important. He just scraps and competes, and you know, oftentimes if you're, you know, if you're giving up, giving up size, you, you have to, to to be aggressive um, and be competitive and do those things that you have control over. So, obviously, Sadiq's been. I don't know when the, the Sadiq might not have missed a game since junior high. You know, I mean, he's such a warrior. So, um, you know, hopefully, he's going to be okay. And uh, as you said, you know, we'll figure it out. Coach, you had a, like I said, had a good win tonight. Had a good win versus the Lakers a few days ago. You have uh, the Clippers coming in town, and you have Golden State coming in tomorrow. These tough games against these very unique teams, regardless of what the conference is. What have you seen from your team over this short stretch? Obviously, you won three in a row now. What have you seen so far? You know, with your team over this stretch, and what is it that you're wanting to continue to see as you go in and face these tough teams at home, or whether you go on the road yeah, as well? Yeah, you know, we've got a. It seems like there's a lot of tough stretches in this league. Um, I think we've just competed collectively is the biggest thing, and you know whether you shoot the ball well or not, we, we've continued to take our shots, um, but we really competed on the defensive end, and we've shared the ball on the offensive end. Guys have had a good feel for one another. And play together. You know, that's a good formula. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll be able to have some success and, and certainly be in games when you play that way. And it's good to see. You. Thanks, coach. Thank you.